Hello, I'm Florian and welcome to my lab on ASCO in the Stockholm Archipelago. My research focuses on greenhouse gas emissions from coastal habitats in the Baltic Sea. Now, if you think about greenhouse gases, you think of human emissions mainly, such as when you're driving a car or if you're flying by plane and you emit, for example, CO2 into the atmosphere. Now, in fact, greenhouse gases are also emitted from natural coastal habitats, like we have here in the Baltic Sea, here on Aske or in the wider Stockholm archipelago. These gases, for example, carbon dioxide and methane, are released from the sediments into the water and then into the atmosphere. And we believe that the coastal zone of the Baltic Sea can be potentially a hotspot of these greenhouse gas emissions. Here on the island of Askel, we have the perfect conditions to measure greenhouse gas emissions from different coastal habitats. We have algae, we have reed beds, we have soft sediments, all of which can produce these greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide and methane. Oh, here it is very strong. Okay. So this is the methane bubbling out of the sediment. Okay, I'll guide you through a little bit how the system works. Um, over here we have the water intake. So there is a huge pump under this little float that sucks the water in. Through this green hose it goes into our main system. This part here is what we call the water box. We measure the salinity, we measure temperature and pH, so we get a lot of background information too. From there, it goes into one key component of our system, that is the equilibrator. Here we get the gases out of the water. When the gases are out, they go through this metal pipe into the little houseboat and they go into the first set of boxes here, the two black ones. This is what we call the gas handling system. Here the gases are being dried, that we don't have moisture. At the end, the gases go into this machine and this is where the gas concentrations are measured. It's a gas analyzer that measures how much gas was in the water, how much carbon dioxide and how much methane. But it also tells us about the isotopic composition. So from there we can derive information such as where are these gases from, how were they produced and so on. At the end of this is a computer. This is basically just giving us the output of the data that has been produced in the system before. And we can see from the graphs what is happening right now. So why do we study this in the Baltic Sea context? Now there are two things. First of all, these greenhouse gases have a direct effect on our world's climate. If they are being released into the atmosphere, they can potentially enhance climate change. They absorb and re-emit heat in the atmosphere. Secondly, it can have a self-reinforcing effect. If you have the gases coming out of the water into the atmosphere and the atmosphere heats faster, you have a heating of the ocean as well. When the water is getting warmer, these greenhouse gas emissions can be higher because microbial communities are more active and release potentially more methane and carbon dioxide. So with this research we try to find more answers on how the Baltic Sea is actually affecting the climate and on the other hand how the climate is affecting the Baltic Sea. <laughs> <laughs>